meeting to order. This meeting is being recorded. I've got 11.03. And all members present, plus um, Sherry, and of course our, uh, our IT folks. Um, hear from the public. Hearing none for Selectman's briefing, I will pass on that pass for on that. expediency today. Acceptance of the minutes of um, June 20th of 20. I believe Roger has to uh, abstain, abstain from that. Yep. Do we have a motion, Catherine? Uh, so moved. I'll second that. Any additions or corrections? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Hear from boards, commissions, or departments. Hearing none, hold business, uh, discuss uh, reopening strategies. Everything remains status quo. Um, item B, Ashford Just advice. Have we, have we had a test drive of that system we purchased yet? Have we done anything with that? The right. uh, Pro? Yeah. Cheryl did one. And what I'm trying to do is set up something with Mike and that do a trial run for everybody cool. to set okay. that up. So All we're right. closing in on it. We have not put it into formal use yet, but I understand it's okay. it's working in an end. I think it's something we're going to have to discuss whether we're going to need another one because we do have several boards that need at the same time. Okay, well, but I figured we get the first one going yeah, first. Check the effectiveness of it. And yeah. then, the original the original thought was to have um, three. Three. Okay. That way you could have uh, you know uh, we've got three meeting rooms there, yep. and one can be taken over to the uh, other building if it's needed, kind of thing. I think that's probably eventually going to make the most sense. When do you intend to do the trial run so we have some idea of when we're going to get started with this? Well, I, I certainly um, want to do it before the end of the month, and I'll keep you posted. I'd like to get together with Mike now that uh, everybody's back or whatever and, uh, and do that. But I would say we'll have information by our next selectman's meeting. All right. Thank you. Item B, Ashford Advisory School Committee. I don't have anything other than we are trying to regroup with um, Cindy Ford and, and, and the new group up there and uh, Mike Serrano and uh, Jim Rupert happens to be on vacation right now, but we're in the process of trying to organize a meeting. So we we'll, should have more of a report for you in the near future. I know the school is working on it from their end. Yeah, and I'm, we've been trying to do it together as much as possible to, for coordination purposes. Um, Item C is COVID updates. Uh, don't have anything. We, I continue to send out the weekly reports we get from uh, Eastern Highland. And um, we did have a, a very minor uptick this last report in numbers. Um, and I understand from reading nationally, whatever, they're expecting a, an uptick because of the holiday weekend. So I want to find this coming Fridays fairly interesting. But I, Continue to send it out to all of our staff, uh, including the senior center and public works and that, as well as you folks. So we'll continue yep. monitoring that. Keep our fingers crossed. There's another, there's another variant out there as well. Oh, really? Yep. That I hadn't heard. Yeah, it's like 50% of the cases. And the monkey box. And <laughs> just never yeah. seems to stop. Yeah. Um. I have nothing further to report. I know we talked briefly about uh, um, discussions regarding Ashford Citizen, and I still want to set up a meeting uh, with Sherry and get some input on that and just look at that. But uh, I have nothing to, to move or bring up about that right now. So we have Sherry on the meeting. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was to talk about the Ashford Citizen. Um, I saw it on the agenda, and I didn't know if it was something you were going to yeah. really seriously discuss today or not. So I just wanted to make sure I was available in case something came up. Yeah, what, what, what I was thinking of doing, and we, I'm certainly open if you want to have a discussion right now about it, but I, I was thinking of probably 
asking for recommendations from all of us and splitting them and then going over those. Um, I know rate structures have not been looked at in years, uh, limitations on submittals that I know I've had some inquiries from a couple of nonprofits about utilizing a little more and whether they should not be paid. But I thought it would be better instead of doing an open session for each of us to maybe make a list of our three or four things that we want to do and then get some feedback and then try to reach a consensus. So Bill, it's on here under new business, a discussion regarding the Ashford citizens. So was we were that was not the intent for this meeting? Um, no, actually, I had no idea we were going to have this long an agenda here. I thought this meeting was going to be just for a few appointments, but this was a carryover from our last meeting. Okay, so it was probably old business. Yeah, it should have been. Yeah, and the thing. Business. Okay, so and Cher, you have ideas on um, what the improvements ought to be, correct? Um, I just think that uh, considering that Bill has gotten some. Uh, fairly recent comments that it might be time to look at um, our policies and um, is there a particular is aspect of our policy? Look at every so often. What's that? Is there something in particular that's come up as an issue in terms of policies? Um, I think it's the perennial question of ASCO the fall um, and their it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, we need right to decide now, what we think about them, so. Oh, well, right now, I don't believe, do they even have a director, a, a chair for ASCO? They do. Did they have their election? They have a couple of new officers on hand. I know Esther is now, I believe, the secretary over there. They are trying to encourage people to step forward who might be interested in becoming the new uh, chairman, but that has not transpired yet. Yeah, that's been going on for, I think, two years. It has been. Yeah, and in terms of them not having the leadership in place. So uh, I wouldn't be as focused on ASCO right now. Are there any other well, issues? Well, I, I also or had some inquiries from the Hungarian club about us charging them and whether they were nonprofit and that sort of thing. Um, um, but that was the sort of thing. I don't, I don't think we need a public discussion right now. I, I'd be happy to submit a list of inquiries or thoughts that I've had. I know Sherry, Sherry and I just had a couple of very informal mm -hmm. discussions about limitations. She's got a few groups that have given her four or five pages of things. Um, and crowding of the All papers right. seems to be becoming an issue somewhat. All right. So I this think is it would what be I would healthy do. just to revisit that. Okay, this is what I would expect is that somebody sends us, uh, uh, Roger and me, a copy of the uh, ideas or issues, and certainly the issues that have come up or the questions that have been asked. Uh, and then we do have a public discussion about this because the Ashford Citizen, we should be doing these discussions in public, not necessarily in a private sense. So in terms of what our policies are going to be and everything, I can't see that as being all that privileged? I'm not looking to privilege anything or not to be transparent. I've just, you you asked, I've had a couple of informal discussions with Sherry. The rest we've discussed in open session at our selectmen's meetings. And frankly, I continue to, I wanna to continue to do that. I just don't think that elaborating and spending a lot of time without focusing on some things that we individually would like to be looked at is gonna serve a big purpose. No, I didn't put it on the agenda. So, um, and I'm assuming you look at the agenda before it goes out. So that's fine. Send out the information so we have something to work with. Thank you. <laughs> Item B under new business, acceptance of the resignation of Michael Gardner. Um, I did receive that um, last Friday and um, it is with much uh, uh, appreciation for as many years of service uh, that he's given and, and dedicated to this town. Uh, he has also agreed to uh, remain on a consultant basis um, with our new 
um, uh, emergency management director, which is uh, Tom Borman. Uh, by statute, I understand that was an appointment by the first selectman, which I made and documented, and I welcome Tom on board for his service. Um, just for informational purposes, he's agreed to take it uh, for one year, and uh, hopefully he'll reconsider after that, but right now it's a, a year at a time, but uh, it's much, much appreciated that he stepped forward. Um, item D is uh, act on um, the Savage Systems. I did put a call in for Eric. I'm not sure if he's away again. I thought it might be beneficial. I know, uh, Bill, Catherine, you had a couple of questions about. Uh, Bill, uh, Bill, don't we have to make a motion on or say something about the acceptance of the resignation of Michael Gardner? I would like, you know, back on item B. Um, so I would just like to make a comment and thank uh, Michael Gardner for all of his years of service as our emergency management director. I think he's done a great job. And I didn't know if we needed to have a motion to accept his resignation, which is typically what we do. I don't, I don't believe a motion is in order, but I certainly would not deny if we want to make one. I know we all feel unanimously about his service to the town. If you're comfortable to do that, Catherine, you're certainly- I'll, I'll make, a, make a motion we accept it with regret uh, and second. with great thanks. Yep, I'll second it happily. It's been made and second. Any further discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. And then um, I would thank, uh, like to also thank Tom Borgman for stepping forward to take the position of uh, emergency management director. And I'd like that noted in the minutes. Yeah, absolutely. I think he'll do an excellent job. Anything further? Okay, um, we've got on here uh, acceptance of the Savage Systems contract, proposed contract. As you know, I believe the Board of Ed is still deliberating on consideration of that. Um, I did put a call in for Eric, hopefully hoping that he may be able to join us to address any questions any of us may have about the contract. And uh, I haven't heard back from him, so. My suggestion it would be that we carry that on to our next contract um, or our next meeting, rather, without exception. Um, I'm assuming you need. Do you need a motion for us to discuss this? I don't think so. I don't. I, I think we just carry it to our next meeting, unless you want to have discussion on it. Do you want to make a motion to approve or disapprove it? Um, yeah, I'll make a motion to disapprove it. Okay, is there a second for that? I'll second it because I'd like to hear. Okay, we have a second uh, for disapproval of the contract. Um, I'll open the floor for discussion. Catherine? Uh, I'm, um, not only am I uncomfortable with the exit language in the contract, but also a uh, five-year contract is a very lengthy contract. And it is my understanding that there's no one on the Board of Ed who's at the point of wanting to accept this contract. And that in fact, the uh, phone, the uh, part of it is the phone services for the school are hooked to their, it's a security system. And this would conflict with that. So uh, it's also, uh, um, I was gonna say, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that this contract should be a contract that includes the school because they really haven't worked with us on it. And please don't say that Craig did because this was left in very bad order and he was not working with the Board of Ed on it. So uh, I would prefer that we have a one or two year contract with Savage and that it be for the town's services only. They clearly don't understand what the school has to have uh, put the contract together the way they did. Roger, any comments? I mean, I certainly would support a two-year contract. Uh, and then once we get the dust settles up at the school and 
we can kind of see what direction we're going that, that we then can look at. The only, the only, cons along, yeah, you know. the, the only concern right. I have about that, Roger, is that um, we, if I understand correctly, Bill, our contract has expired that we had for our that's, IT services. That's correct. So we need a contract in place. You know, we need something for the town. So that's why I was I was thinking the services should, you know, if they're offering services to the school, those should be done separately and in tune with what the school really needs. I have just one quick question. I mean, the last contract we got from them were was did the con was the contract specifically with the town or was did they employ or present a contract that was for both the town and the school? The, the last existing contract that just expired yep. was only with the town. Okay. And we've had right. them They're for years yeah. under those circumstances. Yeah. But, the, but on a year to year basis, yeah. exclusive of anything at the school. But the proposal we have now with the contract is a five year combined with the school. Yeah. So, I mean, we're going to have to get a new revised contract from them, certainly then. Correct. And so at this point, we don't know what we'll be paying or what it will be. But That's correct. correct. Well, we would have to yeah. have them submit a okay. completely new proposal. Okay. Okay. Any more for just discussion? Town, for, just, for just town services. Yeah. Any more discussion? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And I'm going to I'm, I'm going go to assume. Okay. I'm going to Bill, oppose. I'm going to assume. Sorry. If I could just finish, Catherine. Yeah. I'm going to uh, oppose the motion as presented. Um, so the motion passes by two to one mark. I will contact Savage and let him know that and let them know that we are interested in a sole contract on a one or two year basis and ask them to get that to us as soon as possible. Anything further? Thank you very much. Act um, on, I believe you have the acceptance of the Tai Chi contract. I, um, as you know, we've been under contract with them. I believe you've both seen or been sent a copy of the new proposal, which also expired the end of June. Um, I have checked with the chairman of the planning and zoning, who is very happy with the services that they are performing for them. Um, and I would entertain a motion to accept that proposal. I'll make that motion. I'll They've done a great job. Is there any more discussion? Seeing no discussion, I'll call for a motion. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you very much. All right, under uh, item F, under new business, uh, board commission committee appointments. We um, had discussed briefly last, uh, at our last meeting, the appointment of the uh, Inland Wetlands Water Course Officer and the name of Bruce Fitzback was brought forward by the Inland Wetlands Commission. And I believe Catherine was a bit uncomfortable because we had no actual employment agreement in place nor an idea of what the rate was. Um, and that has been submitted. I did speak with Mr. Fitzback this morning. He has in fact agreed to the form that we've come up with so I would entertain a motion to uh, authorize the signing of that contract, an at-will employee contract with Mr. Fitzbeck as Inland Wetland Officer. Uh, I'll make that motion. I'll and uh, my thanks to the chair of um, Inland Wetlands and Watercourses. I talked with him the day after our meeting and he had no problem pulling something together for us. I'll second that. Any more discussions? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you very much. Commission on Aging approved reappointment of Jean McCarthy. 
for a term to expire on June 30th of 24. I make that motion. Is to there a second? The appointment. Any more discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, and a thanks I, to I, <laughs> and a thanks to Jean for her continued service. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, passed unanimously. Thank you. Also on Commission on Aging, approve a reappointment of Carol McCarthy uh, for term to expire also on June 30th of 24. So, so I moved. Have a motion. I'll second it. So moved. Any more discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Unanimously, we'll echo the same thing that uh, Catherine just mentioned for Jean. We thank Carol's ongoing service to the community and to the uh, Commission on Aging. Uh, Commission on Aging, fill a vacancy. I still have nobody um, um, to fill a vacancy of uh, Mrs. Pandolfi. Tax refunds, any tax refunds? Uh, no. Anything? No? No. Remarks for the good of the department. Hearing none, I will take a motion for adjournment. So moved. So moved. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you very much, folks. Have a wonderful day.